Here's your Giselle Auto News update for January 17th. And our first story today is the 2024 Ram Pro Master is getting a new EV version to kind of join the Ford E Transit and the Mercedes Benz Sprinter. Similar horsepower to the gas version with about 162 miles of range, which should be pretty good for kind of local deliveries. Yeah, I think it's good for deliveries. I don't see anyone that doesn't need to sort of travel stuff getting one of these. No, not yet. But I guess if you're like a little ups or whatever something that's just around the circle you can just kind of do it you know what i mean in your area i guess yeah so, i'm sure you know amazon and, and the like will will probably pick these up uh yeah once they're available and dodge has released a few pre-production photos of the 2025 dodge charger and it looks a lot like the concept that they unveiled a little while ago um and it looks like there's probably going to be an ev version and then a a gas version as well that'll probably have a little bit different styling yeah it looks cool I don't know. I, I kind of miss the four doors, but it's like a cross yeah, between kind a of, cha- Challenger and a Charger mix. Yeah, they're kind of like merging the two into kind of one model. Um, I do like that they kind of went with the Charger styling, though. I think it looks it looks nice. Yeah. And with CES behind us, there were a few reveals, including a couple from VinFast, including a VF3 and a VF Wild EV. Um, one, the first one's kind of like a small SUV, kind of like Suzuki Samurai back from the 80s and the other one's a small pickup truck probably similar to like the you know maverick or something like that so the eensy weensy it's smaller than the than the whatchamacallit they say little fiat yeah it's smaller than the fiat 500 yeah it's like driving around a tin can the other one yeah i i don't know if they're gonna sell too many of of that's that really small one the the vf wild though it's kind of got a rivian front end a little yeah. headlight that's kind of i mean that could be cool if it's bigger i wonder what it's comparable to as far as size goes yeah i think it, it seems like it's a little bit smaller than than you know full size it's probably something like tacoma ridgeline somewhere around there it looks like yeah. they were saying and neeson has unveiled the updated 2024 rogue uh which is getting some revised styling and will now have built-in google apps um and it seems like the most of the other stuff is kind of carry over, including like the powertrains. Yeah, they basically just did a facelift. There's the interior does of, look pretty nice, though. There's a lot of vehicles in this segment, though. Oh, you're right, I do. I like that brown interior too, that brown dash and all that. The, yeah. Whatever call they call that. Yeah, that there's just a big. That's just a very saturated market for that size SUV. It's like they're a dime a dozen, so you kind of pick out what works best for you. I feel like you know what I mean. And Kia is looking to break into the commercial van segment with a few new electric cargo vans that they showed off at CES, uh, with the first one being the PV5, which is kind of, you know, a a bigger van kind of coming in next year uh, with a variety of different body styles, including like passenger vans and cargo vans. Yeah, it's funny how you go from the Dodge one that looks like just a van to something like this. It looks like, you know, it's very Kia-ish, you know what I mean? As far as design goes. It says it kind of goes in line with the current styling. Yeah, they're they're having it's kind of modular in, in the way yeah. they can build it. It seems like so. That's cool. A lot of different options. Yeah, that's cool. I, I don't know if it'll sell here, but and also at CES, Honda unveiled a sci-fi concept they're calling the Space Hub, uh, which is kind of a like futuristic people carrier. Um, and they also unveiled a new logo as well. Robert, I think you put it best before the start, and you said it looks like a vacuum. A little bit, yes. It does. I agree. You want to pick it up, start vacuuming your desk. I don't yeah, think the ever... uh, Pontiac, the Pontiac Transport from the early '90s, they always called the Dustbuster because it had that similar shape. So, see this kind I... of a continuation of that that concept. I don't see it ever coming to fruition. Probably not. Although I'm interested in like power. They said it charges from 15 to 80 percent in 15 minutes, and I mean we're nowhere near that. But they got a new yeah. logo. I guess going to be on the all electric vehicles. Yeah, it's kind of reminiscent of their old old logo back from like the 60s, 70s. Yeah, remember seeing it on the really old vehicles. Why gamble with your website? Are you going to be at NADA 2024? We will. We'll be in booth number 7529N in the North Hall in Las Vegas from February 1st through February 4th. So come on down and see us if you have any kind of questions and want to learn more about Giselle. And of course, like, follow, and subscribe for more content coming soon.